Hey guys, it's LEGO by 255 and I'm here with another LEGO review. This time we shall be re reviewing the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man Malibu Mansion Attack. This is set number 76007. It comes with 364 pieces. It comes with 5 minifigures and retails for 40 bucks in the States. This came out in 2013 as a part of the Iron Man 3 line. So yeah, this is, this is a cool build and I like it a lot. Uh, I mean, I mean, I always like this thing a lot. I can never say that I can like it. Mm. Well, let's get in there, you then. First up here, we have Tony Stark. Now, this is a cool version of Tony Stark. This is the first time we ever got him in just, you know, like a minifigure form, not in the Iron Man suit. This was technically the second year of the wave of superheroes, anyway. He has brown hair, which is inaccurate, but he has the same face printing that they end up giving him. In the previous in the previous Marvel sets, he has a scared face and a and a great and a, like a confident face. He has his goatee in his eyes. He has his chest. His shit. Yeah, he has his shirt with his with gray arm printing. You can see some back detailing on on the back of the body. You also can see the iron. You can also see the arc reactor in there. He has no leg printing. And it just says black pants. Let's get on to the Mark 43 version of Iron Man. This is a cool minifigure. He has he has the nor he has the old Iron Man help helmet piece because they changed the thing to go along with the new design. If I can pull one out, I can show you once I find one like this. You can see the well, not exactly like that, but if I can find one. New and that one like this it has more detail, has more printing on the eyes around the mask area. Yep. So pretty much, yeah, that's that. I mean, he has the gold printing on the arms. He he has gold printing on the a lot of gold printing on the torso. He has some leg printing on there and some toe printing. Nothing on the sides of the legs. And some continuation of the reds, golds, and silvers in the back of Iron Man itself. He has gold hands, and on the inside he has a white, he has a white face. I don't have it on him right now, but he came with a white white face when he came out in 2013. Next up, we came we come with the, the only version of Pepper Potts ever. So yeah, this is this is a nice minifigure. She has the she has the horsetail hair here here good hair piece. She's got her white uniform on, no printing on the legs, and I'm pretty sure there's there's some pot pouches in there and some continuation on there with some wrinkles. That's cool. Over here we have the Mandarin. This is the, this is a cool minifigure. This is the oh, this is the exqui the exquisite one compared to the other version of the Mandarin that we end up getting in the smaller set, which would be right here. Bearing he looks, he's more like a war hero. Looks more like he's ready for war, and he looks like he's ready for, you know, like him, like for. Looks more like a leader, like like a god or something. He has his hair, he has his hair piece with the white brow. Brows. He's got a cool K piece. If you turn, take the thing, take the thing off if you can. There's not really much printing on there. I mean, there is some wrinkles and some. Gold printing on there. Let me just first <laughs> fix this cape now, cause I end up. Okay, there we go. There it goes. If you take off the piece, you can just see really. He has an angry face, and then he just has a smirking face. There's some cool detailing on his torso. If we can just get this here. I'm trying to do this and not actually thing, so it's all very exquisite and elegant. There you can see the there you can see the face, right there, there. Yeah, so that's the Mandarin. Now <laughs> let me reassemble this guy for a minute as I fix the minifigure. Okay. Open. Oh, I almost forgot to show Pepper Pot's face. She has or she has orange eyebrows. She got a smile on her face, and on the other side, there should be like a worried face, a scared face. <clears throat> now on to the next figu minifigure, which is <clears throat> is an extremist soldier, and I jump. 
And I dropped the extremist soldier. The extremist soldier. This cool minifigure he has. Really the right hair piece for Tony. Either that or I mixed them up. I, I, I don't I don't know. Tell me in the comments below what's if I'm actually right with the brown hair piece. So he's got he's also got this white face. I mean it looks weird, but really the d entire design was meant to be like Pretty sure he was supposed to glow in the dark. He has his cool shirt with he has his cool sweat jacket with some red va red va you know red red blood veins red veins there there's red word. He's got black pants and no printing in the in the red parts in the red lines and the continuing onto the back. On the back side there is just yeah there's a full powered up face of of the extremists. Yeah. Now let's get on to the build. Let's start off with the mansion. This is a cool build for the mansion. The only time we've ever gotten this mansion, the first in the first place. He has there's some stickers on here that say alert, alert for a war for there's an enemy detect detected and then a right there is a very much a just a full scale uh, full you know <laughs> a full thing of the helicopter which is right here. Over here, there is no stickers on here, unlike the other ones, because of this little thing here. You push the thing out, and boom. Push the thing in, like there. Boom. It just punches out, just like in the Luigi, in the the Sanctum Sanctorum fight scene thing. Over here, there's a little door here, and there's a little weapons, a little tool rack here with a sledgehammer and a wrench thing here, where I'm pretty sure you can work. Over here, there's a sliding a sliding little panel thing with showing where you can put the Iron Man you can put the Iron Man suit into Tony and then another one showing the di a diagnostic that's what it is diagnostic of the suit just going with the helmet and the arm and some detailing in there details over here we got a little kitchen here a little kitchen area there's nothing inside of these of these cabinets if I can open this thing up you can see there's nothing in there I mean I bet you believe me but I don't know. I don't went too far. Then there's a little blender. You can shake this thing in a little, be a little studs over here where you can just pick the thing up. Where because it's a blender. Over here you got got this cool thing where you can end up having take them both there. There's like a little stand here for Iron Man Mark Forty Two, and then another one for Iron Man Mark, the Iron Man Mark Eight. Which I ended up pulling out from there. And no, I don't hit. For the record, I do not have the Quinjet set. The only Quinjet set I have is that airport battle thing. I just ended up getting this thing off, off of the website. So there's this little there's these little stands here, but on the back side. It's not a great looking back side, but you can push this thing. If you push this red thing over to here, you'll see what happens. Not good with the, both of the minifigures on there, but just take one out. You can just end up with this thing here. If I put these back on, take out the Mark Mark Eight minifigure, and go straight to this here thing here, and just the thing will all just launch off. That's cool. Let me put these back, and we'll get onto the helicopter. Helicopter. See, see, see. Okay. This stuff all out of the way, and we'll get into the helicopter. It's a cool helicopter. I mean, I like it. I like the design. They have some propeller, a side propeller here, and they also have the have a big propeller here. We can just turn around. It's cool. Thing can spin around. That's pretty neat. We well, are there's some flick fire missiles, which are back, which back in the day were all the rage. I mean, now you have your flick fire missile. You have your flick fire missiles. Like your, your, you have your flick fire piss, pistols, and I dropped the lights. <laughs> Hold on, let me put the light back, and then we'll get back to the video. Okay. Yeah, back in the day, yes, I uh, have these slingshot thing. They have these flick fire missiles instead of the instead of the new thing that they came out in 2014. Those long bars, and then the stud shooters. They had this thing. There's a blaster on the side. It's a long thing here. There's some space on the putting the mandarin in. There's another container over here. There's some stickers on the side here. And a big sticker here. 
which you can take off and put this entire thing off. Take off this cockpit here. You can put in you can put in the guy you can put in the extremist soldier in there. It's cool. Yeah, pretty much this is the set. I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. Tell me in the comments what you want to see next. And I will try to actually do all... I'm trying right now to actually do all the Iron Man 3 sets. But before you go, let's... I forgot to almost... I almost forgot to do Dummy after... almost remember trying to remind myself again after forgetting the first time. This is Dummy, a little robot that appears in the Iron Man franchise. He has a little arm here. You can move this body here. And you can also move it here. But he has like this flat thing here, so it can actually looks like it rolls. There's a flyer extinguisher here, and right here we have a suitcase, which may look just like a suitcase, but in the movie, if you've seen the movies, you know this is going to be this suitcase is going to be the Mark 45, which finally, after years, we're getting in the Iron Man, the Iron Man Hall of Armor, the Iron Man Hall of Armors. So that's coming out with the new Avengers. <laughs> Avengers. End game line. So I hope you like this video, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.